Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends here in Chicago at the Morningstar ETF Conference. And I'm here with Lee Stern, ETF strategist at the Fixed Income Division at Fidelity Investments. Lee, great having you. Thanks a lot, Tom. I'm glad, glad to be here. So, not many people know that Fidelity has actually been in the ETF business for a while. Give us a little bit of the history and then kind of what's going on lately. Great. So, uh, Fidelity started out in the ETF business in 2004 when we launched our uh, NASDAQ 1Q product. Right. Uh, it's been around since that time. Uh, in, last year, in 2013, we launched 10 new sector, passively managed sector ETFs uh, through our Select Code subsidiary at, uh, located in Denver, Colorado. And those, those funds have actually grown quite significantly where we have about 1.4 billion uh, assets under management across the 10 funds. Yeah, and I know it's not going to stop there. You've got some other plans in you know, Fidelity, known as an active shop. Uh, how, how do you plan on bringing that great brain power at, from Fidelity to market in the form of ETFs? Is, is that coming? Absolutely. So, so we view, we view uh, the active ETF market as a huge opportunity to be an innovator in, in that field. ETF, active ETF assets are a very small proportion of the overall AUM yeah. uh, in, in the market. So we, we at Fidelity have a very strong active process and we want to avail ETF investors the access to, to our active capabilities. And so we, we plan on, on launching a number of actively managed fixed income ETFs in the future. That, that's great. So I know Fidelity, uh, as far as their inner workings, it's really important to them to be able to show their stripes. And do you feel that when Fidelity does come out with an active offering, I compare it to some degree to what PIMCO's done. You know, you got Bill Gross and Total Return Fund, and he didn't care about transparency. Are you going to do that from a transparent standpoint, or do you feel that it might be non-transparent? Our, our funds are going to be, our fixed outcome funds are going to be fully transparent. Okay. Uh, we'll be giving out daily holdings disclosure just like any of the uh, any any of the PIMCO funds, and that's because of our the, the way that SEC wrote our exemptive relief. Yeah. So we're we're required to do that. Uh, we're comfortable with the fact that our that that our holdings will be disclosed daily because we don't feel like, given given the fixed income market structure, that there's an opportunity to really front run the fund as, as it would be in potentially in other sectors. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're excited about that, Lee, and, and I know you spoke a little bit today. Give me some of just your main points that you shared with the audience. Oh, well, today we were talking about uh, active versus passive and when it's appropriate. And basically, the, the way I look at it is that you have to be flexible in the, in the way you structure your portfolio. There are definitely opportunities to, to use passive strategies as well as active strategies. So investors have to understand what they're investing in, whether or not there's actually a, a, good, a good possibility of developing alpha, and look, look at their holding period and, and whether or not they're a tactical or strategic investor. And that, that'll help them inform when, when they should use active and passive strategies. We're not, we're not saying one, an investor should, should go one way or the other. It really depends on you know, the individual investor and what they're trying to achieve. Right. Well, it sounds like you're excited about the future of Fidelity as far as ETF involvement. And uh, we're excited to see what you've got to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.